Welcome back. I'm some guy you've never heard of, and this is Greedfall. Um, yeah, we might as well try the next challenge. Ready to excite the crowd. Perfect. As soon as you're ready, you can jump right in. Incredible! Who would have ever believed that our excellence would have risen so high, so quickly? Alright, that's one down. to get going. Huh. A pity. Well, come back again soon. Oh, people. Alright, looks like we're coming back again after a bit. Probably when I've got Kurt with me. This way, I think. Oh, here we go. Yes, why? You looking to have a good time? It seems like you're sending girls and wine to the harbor office every night. So, there's no law against that, is there? No, and I'm not here to stop you. Listen, Dieter, we just wanted to add a secret ingredient to your wine tonight. What? Are you joking? 
<laughs> you tried to slip a laxative in it. We were thinking more of sleeping pills. Nothing bad, you see. Listen, I have nothing against a little prank, but I can't risk losing my best customers. I guess I'll try to convince him. Captain Vasco is very influential among the Noughts. Maybe he could help expand your excellent clientele even further. If you accept, I could arrange for your agreement to come to fruition. In San Mateus, for example. San Mateus? Ah, I would have to recruit. But yeah, that would be interesting. So then, we agree? Yes, that's fine. Tonight your friends will receive their delivery seasoned. Now, give me the sleeping potion. Thanks to Dita, you should be able to slip into the Harbor Master's office after dark. But you should still dress as one of us, just to make sure you avoid confrontation. Good idea. I'll see to it. I need to talk to him about something as well. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? I conducted my investigation on the extortion organized by certain members of the Guard. I think I've put an end to it, at least temporarily. Unfortunately, I had to kill some of them as they were about to attack a merchant. But there are still some other soldiers involved that I should tell you about. Thank you, Your Excellency. I will have these men arrested immediately. These foolish brutes not only harm your merchants, but the entire reputation of the Guard. But you said you've only put an end to it temporarily. What makes you think this criminality might resume? Their leader is still on the loose. They call him Egon, although I doubt it's his real name. I got hold of one of his lieutenants. He was carrying a silver coin, which seems to be a symbol of recognition between the gang members. But the man preferred to die rather than tell us anything about his leader. Loyalty? Or terror? Terror, I fear. From the merchants to the guards, everyone seems to tremble in front of this Egon. I don't know any guard of that name. But as you said, it's probably a pseudonym. Here, Your Excellency. Take this. On behalf of the guard, to thank you for settling this case. And rest assured that I will conduct a thorough investigation on my side. I'll also make sure that in future the city guard is made up only of men of trust. Thank you. I will return to see how your investigation is going. I don't take this matter lightly. Is there anything else? Uh, no. Thank you. No, thank you. So apparently, because that's put me at a nice relationship with the guard, that they put something in my chest. Okay.
It's pitch black. It's the perfect moment. Dito's girls should be here soon. In your usual clothes, you'll not go unnoticed at the port. But it's up to you. We'll wait for Dito's girls to do their work as planned. Then we'll enter. Very well. It's definitely the safer option. Dito's girls are gone. Your guard should get a good night's sleep now. You should go. I'll wait here as planned. I can't risk getting caught up there. Don't worry. I'll make sure not to hurt anyone. Good luck, Isagi. I was able to recover your file, Vasco. And nobody saw me. Wonderful. You did everything perfectly. So, let's see what this file can tell us. So I was right. My real name is Leandra, son of the Darcy family from Serene. Nobles, I suppose. Yes. I must admit that I had no idea they had given a son to the Norts. To think that I spent my childhood polishing ship bridges when I could have been wearing silk. I'm sorry for you, Vesco. But growing up in nobility is not as simple as it sounds. Really? Well, whatever. I've learnt my real name thanks to you, and that's what I wanted. Leandra Darcy. I remember coming across a Darcy at my uncle's court. Your brother, no doubt. My brother? What was he like? It was a long time ago. We were children. I couldn't tell you what he looks like today. A brother? I wonder if we are alike despite our completely different lives. Thank you for sharing this and for telling me about him. You gave me back my identity. This is more important than the Norts care to admit. Okay.
Oh, the Bridge Alliance governor is here. Um, okay, I'm just supposed to travel from New Serene specifically. Got it. Well, while we're here, if I recall, Petrus said he needs to present himself to my cousin. What can I do for you? I would like, if you would allow me the honor, to introduce Bishop Petrus, emissary of Teleme. Your Highness, may the light warm you in its holy embrace. Enchanted to meet you, my father. I've come here to present respects from Teleme and best wishes from the Mother Cardinal. She has my most sincere thanks. But before speaking further, I would like to discuss matters with my cousin, if you would be so kind. Any news of your parents? No. With the time it takes to travel to the continent, it's not surprising. But I don't miss them. My father's next letter will certainly be full of his usual disdain. As for my mother, you know her. She's probably too busy planning her next assassination to have noticed my absence. I'm going to leave now. Goodbye, Constantine. Look out for yourself. Okay, <clears throat> they gave me a hammer, but I'm nowhere near strong enough to use. Got it.
are we? Oh, I'm glad to see you again. I'm just passing through. At least for there just to be a chest.
the campsite. Well, there are four in this region. Greetings, my lady. It's a real pleasure to have a customer such as yourself. How may I help you? I imagine that your customers are mostly miners. Yes. For this reason, I mostly sell supplies and tools. But as you can see, I have some other riches. <laughs> I'm sure this village will eventually grow larger. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe this alley will become more lively. All right, let's see what you have then. Alright, for some reason I have a feeling I might want this new cog for something. But I'm gonna buy it. Indeed, thank you. Good day. What can I do for you? Did you build this village? Not by myself, no. We oh. did it. We have to sleep somewhere, you know. We don't have much here, and we'd sure like the place to prosper and grow. Maybe more miners will come. Then we'd start to attract all manner of merchants and craftsmen. Do you need anything else? What can you tell me about the ruins on the plateau? You aren't the first to ask me about them, but the answer is still the same. I've nothing to tell you. Not that I wouldn't want to, but I've never been there. There must have been a path once upon a time, but it's no longer there. Maybe it collapsed. Some say that you have to pass through the mines to get there. A few of the tunnels do climb. It's certainly possible, I would say. But those tunnels are all closed. And we have better things to do. The iron ore. It doesn't come out of the ground by itself. Do you need anything else? I'm headed out. Goodbye. Goodbye. Memorandum to the attention of the miners. This is a call for donations. The mechanism of the old door that blocks the access to the mine was damaged, probably by one of us. We ask you to participate in this operation so that we may buy the replacement parts that the, that the merchant brought us for, for the mechanism and start working again. Okay, I assume that has to do with the cog that I bought. Your Excellency, it is an honor. Your Excellency, such elegance. You really are honoring your uncle. Have you 
you ever been to Hikma? It's Good day, Your Excellency. Beautiful day, don't you think, Your Excellency? I wonder if there's anything interesting in these mines. Like ore, perhaps. Hello. You lost. No. Why do you ask? It's just that we rarely get visitors. Well then, what can I do for you? What can you tell me about the mine? It's ancient work. The natives must have dug it out a long time ago and then abandoned it. Even if it is strange work for islanders, it looks more like something we would do on the continent. We're trying to restore it. The rock is extremely rich in iron ore, but the tunnels are very old. You need to go slowly. None of us are in a humor to be buried alive. We did explore a few of them, and we're exploiting the closest. But others, nah, they're still inaccessible. Anything else? What can you tell me about the ruins that we can see up there? Uh, not a great deal. To my knowledge, no one's ever been able to reach them. There were some officials from the city that came, but when they saw they couldn't easily climb up to the plateau, they just left. There must have been a path that caved in. Unless some sort of tunnel in the mine takes you there. Anything else? If I'm right, this hamlet is home only to miners. Yes. It's not been all that long that we've taken up residence here. For the time being, we've only been working a part of the mine because the veins run so deep in the tunnels. Hopefully, more miners will come, and that will attract other craftsmen to our village. We'll see. Anything else? I'll leave you to it, then. Until we meet again. Greetings, madam. Aren't you our governor's cousin? Hello, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, it is an honor. I can't do that. What can I do for you, my child? I will see you later, father. Take care, my child.
There's a gate here that appears to be closed. Actually, no. It's more of just a barrier than a gate. Alright. Well, that's no fun. Oh, nice. Wait, don't I already have some gloves like that? I think I do. That's okay, though. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. Hello. You lost? No. Why do you ask? It's just that we rarely get visitors. Well then, what can I do for you? What can you tell me about the ruins that we can see up there? Uh, not a great deal. To my knowledge, no one's ever been able to reach them. There were some officials from the city that came. But when they saw they couldn't easily climb up to the plateau, they just left. There must have been a path that caved in. Unless some sort of tunnel in the mine takes you there. Anything else? I'll leave you to it then. Until we meet again. I'm just one, right? Oh, I don't think I did. Okay. Cool. Yes, I did. It's this. Okay.
poison on my blade. And let's go! And that's going to be it for today. Thank you very much for tuning in. This has been Greedfall, and I am some guy you've never heard of. Unless, of course, you have. <laughs>